Hi guys, my name is Elise, and welcome back to another video of Emily and Elise being epic. But there's only one epic sermon here, and it's me. So I wrote a sermon. It's about children of the Bible. Because usually when you guys read the Bible, you usually read about adults. So I was thinking that maybe we should, I should do one about children. So let's get started. The first one is Cain and Abel. Adam and Eve had a baby boy named Cain. They also had a baby boy named Abel. Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. Cain brought some of his fruits to offer to the Lord, but the fruits were rotten. Abel brought a firstborn lamb to offer to the Lord. God accepted Abel's offering, but he did not accept Cain's. Cain became jealous of Abel. One day, Cain took Abel to a long, big hill. And then Cain picked up a rock and hit Abel on the head with it. And then Cain went home. And when he got home, God asked him, Cain, where is your brother Abel? And Cain said, For I am not my brother's keeper. God knew that Cain killed his brother. God said, Cain, why did you kill your brother Abel? What do you mean, God? I would never kill my brother Abel, said Cain. Would you guys kill your siblings just because you got mad at them or something? I'm not sure I would. Next one is about Samuel. Hannah was barren, which meant she could not have a, that mean, which meant she could not have any have children. So one day she went to the front of the temple and mouthed a prayer to God that she may have a child. Hannah promised God that if He gave her a child, she would give it back to Him. Eli the priest saw her mouthing a prayer, but no words came out, so he thought she was drunk. He said to her, how long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. She told him that she was not drunk, but was grieving and pouring out her soul to God. Eli told her that God would grant what she requested. Hannah had a baby boy. She named him Samuel, which means God heard. Hannah kept her promise to God and gave her son to Eli so that he might minister before the Lord and under the priest Eli. I never thought my parents prayed for me. What about you? One night, while Samuel and, Samuel and Eli were sleeping, Samuel heard a voice. Samuel thought Eli was calling him. So he went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me? But Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So he went up, so he went and laid down. The Lord called Samuel again, and Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. My son, Eli said, I do not call you. Go back and lie down. For the third time, the Lord called Samuel. Again, he went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. And Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lay down. And if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Again, the Lord called Samuel and said, said Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. God told him, See, I am about to do something in Israel that will make the ears of everyone who hears about it tingle. At that time, I will carry out against Eli everything I spoke against his family, from beginning to end. For I told him that I would judge his family forever because of the sin he knew he knew about. His sons blasphemed God, and he failed to restrain them. Therefore, I swore to the house of Eli. The guilt of Eli's house will never be a ton for my, for my sacrifice or offering. Samuel grew up to be a prophet of God. Do you think your parents always call you or do you think it's or do you think the Lord is calling you? What do you think the Lord's voice says? Joseph had 11 brothers. His father loved Joseph the most. One night Joseph had two dreams. One is about 12 bundles of grain. Eleven of the bundles of grain bowed down to another bundle of grain. The other dream was about the sun, the moon, and eleven stars bowing down to Joseph. Joseph told his dreams to his brothers. His ten older brothers hated him. They especially hated him when their father gave a, him a coat of many colors. Joseph, Joseph's older brothers hated him so much that they threw him in a well and sold him as a slave to Egypt merchants. 
This may seem bad, and it was, but God had a plan for Joseph. When Joseph grew older, he became second command in Egypt and saved Egypt from hunger and his family. He also was reunited with his family through God's amazing plan for him. Would you think that your siblings would just sell you off because they hated you so much? I wouldn't. David. David had many brothers. One day, some of David's brothers went to war. Philistines. David told David told his father that he wanted to fight the Philistines too, but his father said he was too young and small. It had been a couple days later. David's father asked David to bring his brothers some food, so David did as his father asked. He brought the food to his brothers at their camp. He overheard his brothers talking about how they were scared of a giant named Goliath. David was not afraid. He asked the king if he could fight the giant, since he knew God was on his side. At first, the king said no, but then he agreed. David picked up five smooth stones from a brook and met Goliath on the battleground. Goliath laughed at him since he was so small. David took a stone, put it, put it in a sling, swung it around and around, and threw it at Goliath. Finally, David stabbed Goliath, and Goliath died. When David grew up, he became king of Israel. I don't think I'd be as brave as David. He is pretty brave to fight a big man when he's just a tiny boy. Jesus. When Jesus was 12 years old, his parents took him to the temple. On their journey back home, they realized that Jesus wasn't with either of them, which made Jesus' parents very nervous. They asked the people who were journeying with them if they had seen Jesus around. None of them said yes. So Mary and Joseph went back to Jerusalem to look for them, to look for him. They looked all around and could not find their son. They finally found him at the temple teaching the high priest. When they found him, his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been scared sick searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Nazareth with, Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart, and Jesus grew in wisdom, wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. What would you do if your, if your child just randomly disappeared and you found him in the temple teaching the high priest? I'd be shocked. We children can serve God in many ways. We can be kind, we can share with others, and help people in need. And we can have different types of what we are. We can be bad like Cain, who killed his brother. We can be obeying like Solomon, oh, Samuel. And we can be as brave as David. We can be as smart as Jesus. We can be a lot of things. And the thing that I use for my sermon, well, they're called social sources. I use the Bible and Emily, my sister. So, bye!